This seems like a tough fight. Grand Antlion. This is uh, interesting to say the least. Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome to another Terraria video. Today, I'm going to head deep into the mod browser here. And we're going to see if we can find some good mods. Because there's a lot of good mods here on the mod browser. There's a lot of bad ones, too. Majority bad. But in here, there's definitely some hidden gems. And I want to personally find some hidden gems. Not only to help expose them to everyone else but to also expose them to myself because you know there might be some really good mods that just nobody knows about that even i don't know about there's a lot of good mods that i don't know about i'm already seeing some mods right here that possibly could be amazing but yeah let's get to it no offense if i play your mod in this video and i don't think it's a hidden gem maybe i just got bad opinions but yeah right off the bat just from where i'm scrolling i see this mod aerovalescence now one way to pull in people to click on your mod is a good picture and a good title just like youtube wow but we'll see if uh mods are clickbait in here so we got the aerovalence mod or aerovalescence i don't know uh it's a large content mod themed around space and the sky with an interesting twist aerovalence has plenty of new content new enemies to fight and secrets to be uncovered and then it says that the current rundown 230 plus items that sounds good but quantity over quality of course large collection of new npcs with fun unique ai one fun boss fight a brand new biome the crystal caverns and legendary items that have a low drop rate from any boss modded in vanilla like let's go ahead and grab this one and let's check it out in game here all right we are in game probably should have used a different character because like all my items are disabled but it's all good so i exposed the world here because this mod does add in a new biome and i could see it a couple times twice to be exact i'm assuming it's the same biome different generation though let's let's start by checking out these places oh okay we got bumping music right when i step in hopefully it isn't too loud modded music is always super loud for some reason i don't know why maybe mod developers really like their music but yeah we're here it looks cool it looks cool definitely getting like calamity biome vibes just off of the uh off of how the block looks these feel like you know the higher quality calamity sprites which is one thing calamity is good at oh uh, we got the enemies here crystal slimes luminous defender the sprites look good there's a crazy amount of life crystals in here we got this ore right here cavern crystal can be placed and it is used for something let's go ahead let's check out what it's used for the sprites are looking nice for the mod whoever did the sprites good job so far they look nice but yeah in terms of just how the place looks i like it uh, i might be a little laggy having you know everything bright so i could actually see so if there's a little frame rate issue that's probably why but yeah cool i don't know if there's anything really to offer here other than it being you know just a cool biome uh there's a lumino jelly let's check out the other one over here this one has really deep water i don't know if there's anything at the bottom or if these are legit like a biome just like the granite marble biome somewhere you would pop into every now and then that's what it's looking like so far though back on the surface let us go ahead and check out the mod in the browser now again i'm bringing up the sprites sprites are beautiful whoever did them congrats uh we're gonna check out a couple of the weapons here i gotta make sure that i don't check out too much because i'm trying to do like a couple mods per video here so let's take out ones that look cool we got this yo-yo which is a different yo-yo sprite it has like a string and everything that's like super unique right there not even like and i don't think like any other mods <laughs> sprite yo-yos differently other than just a circle so like that's props right there we got this thing this thing looks funny it is a bunny cannon oh does exactly what you think it shoots bunnies oh my god it shoots the dynamite bunnies i've had a lot of fun with these guys recently not enough to make another video because that shit barely broke 20k views shout out all my fans but let's see it here against a boss let's see it against the brain i don't know how much damage it does oh it does good damage good enough given that you know these aren't the 1.4 version yeah cool weapon right what other cool weapons do they got i also gotta remember to check out uh cool enemies and bosses if they have any they said there's one boss in this mod uh we got the clock of life changes the time of day the moon is up and vice versa always love items like that it's got the minecraft compass <laughs> pretty sure that's the minecraft compass sprite uh we got the blocks here the glimmering stuff which is i'm assuming made from the stuff we were finding in that biome there's this right here or quest what is that that sounds interesting uh there's a flashlight right click to turn on slash off the flashlight I, I don't know how that works uh, there's a grappling hook fish ring you may now kiss the fish summons an electric tetra let me see it oh look at the little fish 
uh we got the armors here again like there's not really much for me to say about the uh armors uh, they're gonna be armors you're gonna have their set bonuses and stuff i probably want to check out every single one of them but i can't bring up the sprites yet again i love the sprites but yeah let us see the boss here there's a couple of really cool accessories like this one make enemies drop more gold that's always a cool accessory okay so it looks like you do fight the boss down here so maybe i go back down here turn on the brightness yet again and spawn in the boss the crystal tumbler damn they weren't lying he tumbles so it's looking like this dude just rolls around everywhere damn this would be fun to fight especially in this environment it's like i'm playing pinball but yeah let's go ahead let's do a little damage to him i don't have my tome of manipulation i should have kept the juice mod installed all right there you go let's do a little damage see if the phases change up oh he's like summoning in rocks looks like he could get stuck very easily so you could probably abuse that Oh, he's got the little lunatic cultist like electric coming out. This seems like a tough fight. I don't know if this is like a late pre-hard mode fight or what. Seems kind of tough. Not gonna lie. Let's go ahead. Let's get it even lower. See if there's a final phase or anything. Or what's it doing now is its final phase. Oh, it teleported. Okay. And then it's doing the rock attack again. So pretty much the same old. But there you go. Boss killed. Well, let's let's see what's in the treasure bag. You get this right here. The expert item. Damage and defense are increased while in the crystal caverns. Increased movement speed slightly. You're now lighter, making you able to jump higher. Nice. And you get a quad shot. That does not look like four bullets. Oh, oh sometimes all right but this mod seems pretty cool i like it so far maybe something you could throw into a playthrough you know when i do playthroughs of like big mod packs i always like to throw in a tiny content mod just for a little extra content and a little exposure for the mod too but let's check out another one all right back on the mod browser as you can see i need to update let's get to it though let's get looking around here i want to go down i want to go down to like the month section uh we're pretty much back in the area where we found it literally back in the area where we found the arrow of balance mod what is the vitality mod the vitality mod adds two new bosses and over 300 items the goal of this mod is to add a variety of items enemies and bosses to further expand upon terror's content that's like all mods they all do that two new bosses one with music two new talent and pieces 120 weapons 30 tools two mineable ores 15 armor sets 45 total arm pieces 15 accessories 30 enemies i forgot to check out the enemies in the arrow valence mod uh, i'm gonna download this mod but i'm gonna keep the arrow valence one on because i gotta check out the enemies and i completely forgot all right here we are we're checking out the enemies we got the boss it seems like a majority of the enemies are literally just like all the ones that spawn in that cave or in that biome we got this guy oh this is an npc my boy gilbert that's a terrible name i'm sorry i don't care if you're from a different country i don't care if you're a different species bro that's a terrible name you might have to fight your parents for that shit all right but what else we got we got overgrown tumbler rock am i in god mode i hope i am uh we got a living boulder we got a lot of enemies it seems like that's the specialty of this mod is enemies that are like this uh when 1.4 comes out i'm assuming they're gonna have fun with the rolling cactuses you know they'll probably add in a rolling cactus boss i'd love to see it honestly all right we are here with the vitality mod let me see if it adds any terrain generation maybe it does maybe it doesn't you know what i'm noticing there's a lot of moss everywhere in this world i don't think it does or i have no idea damn look at the size of this dungeon this dungeon is huge keep in mind this is a medium-sized world too so it's pretty big but yeah i'm not seeing anything maybe there's something i'm just blind whatever let's get to the content so vitality that means we go to the v section look at that flag of justice summons an eagle to fight for you and it's equipable oh my god this is the best <laughs> I get to show off my patriotism and I have a summon. Go get him, summon. Oh my God. Proud to be an American. That's cool that it's an equipable summon. I've, I've never seen something like that from a mod. Uh, let's look through the sprites real quick. Just the overall quality of the sprites. They're looking good. There's a lot of talented spriters out there. Maybe it's like the same five people over and over again. If so, I hope you're getting paid at least. Non-slip socks. Prevent sliding on slippery surfaces. I, uh, <laughs> I can get behind some of those. Ice shoes. A lot sliding on non-slippery surfaces. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got the opposite nice who doesn't love slipping around so far i'm noticing that uh a good bit of accessories and items are pretty unique we got a lot of endless quivers though i could get behind having endless quivers i like that but yeah let's get into the armor sets let's start with this one the anarchy one this armor set looks very very plain kind of looks like the gold armor set if i'm not lying because i think the gold armor set has that little like wing on the helmet but uh they could be a little bit more creative with that let's see the other ones maybe i just chose a bad one this one right here the ancient gold this looks cool definitely looks unique uh what else do they got let me see like the coolest looking armor set they got this stuff the chaos stuff and it looks like it has multiple helmets for it there's a boom box that does magic damage 
Okay, that's cool. I like that. I don't know if I like the song they're playing in the boombox, though. Uh, in terms of armor sets, it doesn't look like there's too many, like, crazy different ones or ones that, like, stand out like crazy. Uh, this one looks like I'm about to go scuba diving. You can actually see my hair with this one. That's cool. Don't know if that's intended or not. Oh, speak about scuba diving. There's literally a scuba diving one. Look at that. All right, let's put on the scuba diving one. Amazing. Can't wait to go scuba diving. All right, let's check out some of the weapons. We got this right here. Stink bomb. Ew. Ew. Imagine getting farted on to death we got the barrel that's pretty cool i like that uh we got a slingshot does this mod add in a bunch of slingshots that could be a little cool thing don't know what the hell they use we got obsidian fire slinger yeah it does exactly what i expected we got the yo-yos we got some different looking yo-yos again seems that uh, a lot of underrated mods do yo-yo sprites differently actually i feel like i've seen maybe seen some like this but this is still unique nonetheless we got the ssbmg is that what it's called sbmg shoots mechanical beetles that will chase your enemies interesting you got a flashlight not a lot of mods adding in flashlights okay but yeah other than that it seems like the weapons are unique a lot of accessories are unique sandball cannon let me get some sand for this there we go does this still make sand blocks? Oh, no, it doesn't. So this is like a snowball cannon, but sand. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the enemies now. See what they're working with in terms of enemies. Vitality mod. Okay, it looks like they got a good bit of enemies. We got ruby slimes, emerald morganite, hematite, which I'm assuming are the two ores they said. Uh, we got sloppy zombie ninja. Sloppy. Interesting. We got scuba zombie. He's not really that good on the surface. Uh, we got tainted stuff. Okay, interesting. Vile stuff. So I'm assuming tainted and vile might be. Uh, oh god, look who else we got. <laughs> we got this guy here. Uh, there's also dreamer stuff. So they got a lot of like the same thing, just like different variants, like you know, hollow crimson corruption stuff like that. Uh, ghostly snowman. Watch out. There's a sand castle. Strange sand castle. I'm assuming if you break that sand castle, you probably fight a boss, don't you? Oh, and I think I know what the boss is. Okay, didn't actually mean to go out here but it was perfect but yeah let's see the strange sand castle in action here i'm gonna break it hopefully it actually spawns in uh, i don't know if i need any like prerequisites or something if i need to kill a certain boss or what but let's see it in action here okay i probably need wait you saw an enormous fur lurking in the sand but it quickly disappeared okay so i probably do have to kill something but i don't want to let's just spawn it in like that grand antlion sprite looks cool music is bumping i can get behind it already the health is fairly small, so I'm assuming this is a pre hard mode boss. I'm not seeing any attacks. Is it because I'm in god mode? Let me take out god mode. Let's see. Maybe it's not attacking because I spawned it in in a weird way, or maybe you're not supposed to even like fight it up here. But all of that aside, it's still a cool looking boss. I do like antlion bosses. I do wish Vanillataria had a desert boss of some sort, not a mini boss, just something. I don't know why they added two bosses to the hollowed and not to the desert or caves or something uh, for 1.4. But yeah, I'm assuming the other boss is this right here the paladin spirit uh this one doesn't have music maybe you fight this early done actually no it has 48k health so maybe a late dungeon boss i would assume from the spirits but yeah overall cool mod another cool mod maybe i might have this in a future mod pack uh you know i do plan to play the spirit mod that's coming up and maybe this one or the arrow valence mod i'll have in the pack let's head back to the mod browser though let's do one more before we end this video off all right for our next mod let's go back down oh we're in the three months area obviously i'm gonna choose most mods by just using pictures it's the easiest so let's see let's look around here i think i'm gonna go with this mod rebound by Kawhi logan i haven't really been showing what two of the other ones are by oh well so this is rebounds the content mod for terraria currently only has one pre-hard mode content i don't i don't know what that means so far it has a new class Ooh, the bouncier or the bouncer who deals resilience damage by throwing bouncing balls <laughs> i like it a subclass that hits bouncy balls with mallets oh okay they're playing off of the new class with a subclass a boss right before the wall of flesh okay a curse that you may have to cure yourself of okay two new town npcs the fortune hunter the school girl a gotcha pawn with three types of gotcha throughout pre-hard mode as if bosses including you i don't know what the hell that means uh and a bunch of new stuff so let's check it out i'm kind of hyped to see the the bouncer the bouncier sounds like fun i always love some new classes all right we are in a world with the rebound mod uh don't know again if it adds in any terrain generation but i exposed the world anyways there you go this looks like a very red area 
all right let's get to it though so here we got the mod doesn't look like there's too much content in here let me start off with the sprite work the sprite work looking uh fairly average there's some of them that look kind of weird i'm not gonna lie the bouncy balls look very weird but in terms of everything else it doesn't look that bad it looks like there's not too many armor sets there's rose gold armor and then there's boundium let's see the rose gold armor okay i got antlers for some reason or something i don't know <laughs> and then we got the boundium set the boundium set actually looks cool i can get behind this uh we got a pacifier for all you fucking babies out there uh boundium shield enemy spawn less is cool ball polish ah yes <laughs> see this would be a good video to get sponsored by manscape if we were talking about ball polish but that increases our damage sure let's put it on ball magnet bouncy balls will return to you after being thrown we'll keep that one uh sneakers amy sneakers faster than lightning boots but can't fly is that like sonic amy i don't know oh gotcha pun is that like just like vending machine balls or something like that i guess amy rose poster okay i'm assuming somebody like sonic there's a chalkboard classroom stuff that's kind of cool hell scope summon the pale green dot is that the boss i'm assuming that's the boss all right but let's see some of the bouncing balls in action here starting with this sneaky boulder so you throw it and you have to go pick it back up okay i think the cool thing is that it does like hit the enemy multiple times uh which is good does it like home in low key oh god you know what i'm putting on the ball magnet does this thing like home in though i have no idea oh oh, oh. okay the oh my god not bad i'm not gonna lie not bad and i'm not just saying that either oh my god where did that ball go <laughs> Yeah, I can get behind the bouncy ball class. This is fun. There's a lot of things you can build off of here. Bouncy balls, how do you how do you make them better? How do you expand a class all about bouncy balls? I don't know. You yeah, make them bouncier, something like that. But yeah, let's see the subclass they were talking about. Uh, where you take the the mallets, you get the mallets, and then you fucking hit the ball. No, it's completely separate ball. Okay, that's interesting. I thought it was gonna like you hit the bouncy balls with the mallet. But no, you, you get your own ball with your mallet. Okay, that's interesting. And these all do resilience damage, of course. What's the set bonus? Increases damage? Okay. So let us go ahead and check out. Well, actually, is there any more weapons to check out? I feel like we checked out like a majority of them. There's a, there's a staff, a summoning staff. Look at that. That's a really tiny summon. But yeah, let's check out the enemies. What enemies do we have here? We got an iBot. We got a little hero. Look at him. He's little. He's a hero, apparently. We got the fortune hunter. Uh, and then where's the schoolgirl at? We got the schoolgirl. There's an undead schoolgirl. Okay, interesting. There's a teacher. We got a lot of school-related NPCs here. Uh, and then we got balls. I'm assuming these balls are the boss. I don't know where you fight the boss. Is this even what you use to summon in the boss? It is. So let's see the boss. It's just a giant ball. Is that Earth? Is that Earth? <laughs> looks more like pangea or something doesn't really look like the uh, continents are spread out here this is uh interesting to say the least this is before wall of flesh so it's uh, honestly supposed to be fairly hard let me throw some of my bouncy balls at it burning love is the name of this bouncy ball boom get it get a little taste of the burning love can i throw multiple Ooh, i could throw multiple and they still come back to me with the accessory they thought about everything and the boss is about to die let's see if i can get the burning love hit in there oh it's a second phase i never would have expected this it's really loud there's a lot of like things coming after me i don't know <laughs> i don't know how bad this would be to fight in uh not god mode and there you go i killed him so what does he drop he drops boundium ore which yeah we can make the the bouncy ball armor and he drops a frog leg but yeah other than the sprite of the boss very interesting boss it might be really hard honestly i don't know but like other than the sprite i have no complaints about that boss it's an interesting cool boss uh probably could be more unique in terms of attacks but you know it's something different but yeah our three mods that we checked out here i think all three of them are underrated gems they may not be you know something like the thorium or calamity mod these gigantic mods that are just amazing but they do all add a unique something to every playthrough so you know adding them into like a giant mod pack every now and then would not hurt but yeah i'm uh i'm gonna give a rating to all the mods throughout this series okay and the rating is gonna be out of five i'm gonna give aerovalescence vitality i'm gonna give both of them a four out of five five out of five would be like perfect 
underrated gem amazing but i considered both of these you know very cool they could have a little bit more so i give them both four out of five i'll give rebound three out of five still a cool mod i like that it has a unique class the bouncy ball class that's just awesome but there you go i hope you guys enjoyed the video be ready for more this is a nice little series i wanted to always do checking out a bunch of mods i've never seen before and uh, i'm not gonna say leave any suggestions because uh you know i'm trying to i'm trying to find all this stuff on my own i'm trying to experience it for myself i don't want uh, suggestions to be left but make sure you guys try out these mods these mods are cool i'll see y'all next time have a good day